We're chatting with Zorro. I mean, Antonio Banderas in today's Entertainment City. But first, sounds like Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale's split may not have been so amicable after all. First, it was Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner. Now another celebrity split is being blamed on cheating with the nanny. New reports say Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale's 13-year marriage ended because Rossdale was unfaithful with the family's longtime nanny, Mindy Mann. Supposedly, the affair went on for three years, with Stefani only just finding out in February when she found explicit messages between Rossdale and Mann on the family iPad. Oops. Mann was fired, but Rossdale reportedly convinced Stefani it was just a flirtation until he confessed months later. That's when Stefani filed for divorce in August. This report comes after Stefani's rep confirmed last week that the singer is dating Blake Shelton. Oh, and on a side note, it appears man made an effort to copy Stefani's looks, which is weird, right? The priest never signed the wedding license. We're not married. It's here, the first look at My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2. 13 years after the original smashed box office records, Tula and Ian are back along with the entire Portocalo's family. And it looks like there's another Big Fat Greek Wedding on the way. Who says a woman has to be married? You, all our lives. The film hits theaters next March. Sounds like Adele is getting ready to test out her acting chops. The Grammy-winning singer, who is making a hugely successful musical comeback right now, is reportedly in talks for a role in Xavier Dolan's upcoming film. This after Dolan directed her music video for Hello, which broke a record for most views in a single day. Dolan's new film is called The Death and Life of John F. Donovan. Adele's role would reportedly be a cameo. She's an old man. It's my job to keep this man safe. It's a story that captivated the world. A billion people, you know, watched, you know, these men get rescued. One of the greatest tales of survival. Such a triumph of the uh, human race. And now the story of 33 men who were trapped in a Chilean mine for 69 days in 2010 will play out on the big screen. I believe we'll make it out of here because, because I choose to believe it. It was incredible, you know, what they did in order to keep themselves human. Our Thor Dykow sat down with the cast of The 33 to find out what makes this film unforgettable. What does the film say about the human condition? The tremendous importance of life itself. And you, you see these people scratching with their nails in order to survive and you understand that that is the point, you know. It's the power of, uh, of unity. The miners who were down there and their courage and the way they, you know, stood strongly and together is really about that. The 33 is in theaters tomorrow. And hitting select theaters tomorrow, Brangelina's By the Sea. Blowing you a kiss. I'm blowing you one back. Hello Canada caught up exclusively with Angelina Jolie to talk about working with her husband once again. Angelina told us that because she was the director of this movie, she couldn't get away with much with Brad because she would say, oh yes, thanks, that's fine, but he would be able to tell that she wasn't really fine with it because <laughs> he can read her body language so well. Get the full scoop in this week's issue of Hello on newsstands and your next issue app today. And remember to get your entertainment news first here in the morning and anytime on Twitter at Ant City.